Good day, great fours. Video 42. Examples. For examples number two, for the test on the 9th of July. Teacher Shireen did the examples number one for you today in school. Yesterday, sorry, yesterday in school while I was not there. Uh, but this is only, two, there are two only two more pages, this side and the back of the page, um, with two more pages of examples, which you can work through for the tests. The examples that we did, you did with teacher Shireen, as well as this page and the back of it, these two pages will be the kinds of questions that I will ask in the test. So if you did well enough in those, in the work there um, of teacher Shireen and this page, then you are well away. If you still need to practice a bit, then your mom can ask you almost the same kind of questions, but just using different numbers to help you practice a little, little bit for that. So, luckily, no long division in the test. Okay, so I'm going to do this, the, the first example and of the, the long, long multiply, also the first example. Um, and then you can do, finish the row afterwards on your own on monday i will send the memo of this okay now let's see five times eight is 40 yeah five times eight is 14. so the zero is there and the four goes over there to the tens right then five times zero is zero now can you remember that and then plus the four plus the four equals four so it is four and then five times three is fifteen so the five goes there and the one goes there. Right, then you complete the row on your own and see what happens there. Then I'm going to do this one for you quickly. Just a reminder a bit. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Three times six is 18. Right. So you put the 8 there, 18, no? Okay, then 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. Right, okay. So the 6 goes there and the 10 goes there. Then 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 equals 10. So it is 10. Right, now... You still remember, I hope, when you have a 10, the only a 1, when there's a 2, or when there's an 8, whatever number in the 10s place. It means you multiply with the 10s. So when you multiply with the 10s, you add a 0. Can you understand why we've done all these sums? With the times 1 and the times 10 and the times 100. Yeah, there are reasons for the things we do now. So now, luckily when you multiply by 1, it's quite easy. 
1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 3 is 3. Then you must add those up. Yeah? So you rule, make a rule, a rule off there. So you add those two numbers, you add it up. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. No? So it is 12. 1 plus 1, the 1 there. Because 0 plus 5 is 5, but there's a 1. No? one uh, 0 hundredths plus 5 hundredths. No? Or 1 hundredth plus 5 hundredths is 6 hundredths. No? 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 3 is 4. Right. <clears throat> so, I've done an example of the long, the two-digit um, multiplication. So, work um, in with that method over there and over there. And then you can do these three sums on your own. Just, this is just a plus, just a minus, and also just a plus. Okay, then question two. Fill in the equivalent fractions. So if you look at a whole and quarters and eighths and fifties, if this is a half and the denominator is four, what must be on top? If 1 is half of 2, what is half of 4? 2 quarters. No. 2 is half of 4. Sorry. What will be 8 then? What will, will be half of 8 be then? 4. And then, if you know your half page... There is a page where you can learn all your halves or should have learned all your halves. Now. What is half of 50? And if you know that, it would be 25. Right. Now if you look at this one, this one is also very easy. You, you, it doesn't look like it, but you will see. I already told you. If you look at that one, even this one, what did you do with a 2 to get 4? You timed it by 2. So, if you have 1, then you must do at the top what you did at the bottom. Right. So, the same here. How many times does 10 go into a hundred? Yes, 10 times. 10 times. 10 times 10 is 100. Okay. So, what you did at the bottom, you must also do at the top. So, it is also times 10. So, 10 times 10 is 100. And 1 times 10 is 10. So, one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. Right. Okay. Now that we're going to do page two, and you will see we have um, the shapes here. And this is the way I'm going to ask the shapes in the test. There will be a few, not a lot. You don't. I'm not going to ask all, and I'm not going to ask the same ones. Okay. But if you look at this block, they say you must fill in the correct answers in the empty columns. Now here is the column where the shape must be. Here is the column where the name of the shape must be, and there. 
is the co column with the corners the number of corners must be written so if you look here the name is already here triangle but what's happening here there is no triangle so when there isn't a shape when there's an empty space or empty column look there empty space or column then you must make me a triangle see so if you look at the triangle and the corners it is very easy to see one two three three corners now what is this shape if you look at this part here the front part what can you see no it is a rectangle but now this is not only a rectangle it is now a 3d shape so the one part of it is a rectangle but you say rectangular prism and see what i said when you have the picture of the 3d shape you can work out how many corners it has so let's look carefully there is one two three four five six seven eight eight corners okay now for the last two i want you to go and look on that page um the last one about the 2d and the 3d shapes that i gave you then you must look on this on that page and make sure what's happening there but remember in the test i might change um the shapes and use other shapes ne? so make sure that you more or less know how to spell it as good as possible i won't mark for spelling mistakes but i must see what you tried to write ne? Um, so at least i must tr be able to make out what kind of word you wrote there okay so fill this in by yourself then and i will send the memo on monday enjoy the work and remember the test will be more or less about these questions and the questions that teacher Shireen worked through with you yesterday. Enjoy the work. See you on Monday again. Bye-bye.